Hi, it's Marina the Soul Alchemist, and it's time for Pick Your Own Card Weekly Guidance for the 27th of November through to the 3rd of December. So we are stepping into a new month, the final month of 2023. <clears throat> so we want to we want to finish on a on a high. And you know what? These cards this week really, really support that. And we also have a full moon on the 27th, which is in Gemini, which is about fun. It's about communication. It's about connection. Geminis tend to have kind of the lighter side of life um, there. So that's going to be a little bit of an influence that's coming up with it being a full moon also. It's about releasing those aspects that maybe bring our energies down. All of these cards, I know I say this most weeks, all of these cards this week really support each other and filter one after another. And it's really interesting because there is a symbol, other than the key, because we're using the Akashic Oracle card deck, which has got keys all the way through it. Other than the key, there is a, a, a symbol, a shape that is also very present. And it'll be interesting to see if you spot what the shape is as I go through all of these cards. So you may have your main focus, but I would like encourage you to listen to all of the messages. And the bonus card this week is about karmic challenges. And of course we wanna know about those, but I'd encourage you to listen to all three cards because they're all gonna be supportive of getting this complete picture, which I know I say each week, but even more so this week and as we head into December it's this final you know this final month of 2023 so it's a great way to start it so the first card is the favorite card of my pack um, of my deck is deservability and self-worth <clears throat> so we're starting with this foundational card of really owning your power and owning your light and are you doing that in a big enough way are you really feeling and being in your deservability and really owning your self-worth or is there a part of you that kind of just thinks no actually I could up level this a little bit more or I know that there's this part within this relationship or <clears throat> where I'm kind of maybe hiding in my in my business or in my workplace or I'm maybe not really devoting my true time or attention um, to changing my habits around my health and my nutrition all of that type of stuff are you really owning it because this female in this card is owning every part of her and she knows that everything that she's doing is creating the optimum levels of deservability and self-worth so this is really about owning your power and noticing if there's anything that um, is eroding that or where you have, you know, insecurities or doubts that has you feel like you can't really fully own your deservability and self-worth because <clears throat> there may be an element of guilt or shame or blame or a regret or something that you've not let go of. There may be people around you that are telling you indirectly that you're not worthy to, you know, have have this type of life, have this amazing reality, that it's just not possible for you. It's not possible for us, for people like us. And so that's, that's not true. That might be their truth, but it doesn't have to be your truth. So where can you own your deservability and self-worth in a bigger way? This is the foundational card. And look at the light that she's emanating. As soon as you start to choose and decide, I am going to own my self-worth. And I'm not going to let anybody else tell me otherwise. My ego, my feelings, my experiences, I'm just going to own it. And of course, you're going to need to probably navigate the insecurities and doubts and fears and things that come up. But if you're making this conscious choice to own your power, then it's going to be easier for you to notice where those um, where those situations come up or those you know those experiences come up where you feel a little bit triggered or you feel a bit unsure and it'd be like no I've got this I'm safe I'm owning this this is my new choice so deservability and self worth is your foundational card if you pick card one it's your focus but also you know if you've come back and listened to this one then I would love for you to 
um, just take this on board because it's the real kind of Joan of Arc, spiritual warrior. I'm owning my power. And this is going to really help be the foundational piece for your progress through this week. Now, of course, if you want to get a little bit deeper, you can get your own Akashic Oracle card deck. But I also wanted to share a little bit about a um, masterclass that I'm doing on the 4th, uh, no, not on the 4th, on the 5th of December. It's a free masterclass, and it's for those people that are in particularly in a business and they want to expand their income or their offerings, or you're thinking about setting up a business. And it's this masterclass is going to be revealing or unlocking the power of the Akashic Records where you can step into abundance in your business and out of lack and scarcity. So it's all about supporting you or showing you how the Akashic Records can support you and your business in a bigger way. So it's a free masterclass. It's seven to eight. I'll put a link below so that you can sign up, come along listen to what I have to share. There's also going to be a little bit of an audit in there as well, where you can reflect on your business, spot the business gaps <clears throat> and get an understanding of how the Akashic Records can actually fill them. So it's worth it just showing up for that. So click the link below, get yourself in that masterclass. There will also be, it'll be on live, but there'll also be a replay as well. Okay, so if you pick card two, this is a continuation of card one. If you've not listened to card one, please go back and listen to that because it's a foundational piece for this week. So ancestral heritage. So you're owning your power, you're owning your self-worth, you're owning your deservability, which makes you a magnet for attracting people that you're here to serve and support. But you also might find that if there is wobbles or things that are affecting your self-worth and deservability, your confidence, your self-esteem, your self-belief, which, you know, we all have, you may find that there's an ancestral thread that could be there to be healed. So it might not even be something that you can directly connect to, that it's an experience that you've had that direct impact from in this lifetime. But it might be that your mom or your great-grandmother or great-great-grandmother or on the paternal line, you know, father, great-grandfather, all of that type of stuff, may have struggled with their self-worth and des deservability. And that is filtering through in your energetic DNA. So if you've not explored doing any work or much work, or you feel that you need to come back and do some work about deservability, self-confidence, self-esteem, Always try and include your ancestors within that healing. And that's what this card is saying, is that you might find, even though you've done all of this work, have you included your ancestors as part of that healing? For the highest good of all, of course. Because that's where you might still be impacted. You might still be feeling their threads, their experiences, their traumas, their wounding, which on, you know, impacts the solar plexus, it impacts it within the Akashic records. And, you know, you're connected in with your ancestors' Akashic records. So look at any ancestral healing that you can do this week if you're feeling specifically challenged by stepping into this card in a bigger way. But if you're like, oh my gosh, no, it's all amazing. I'm going to own this even more. Then what you're going to find is that there's a shift in your energy and people start to notice it, whether that be friends or <clears throat> people just reaching out, connecting with you that you don't know, or friends of friends or people within your community, like clients that have been watching you for ages and they've not you know, felt the need to contact you. And it's like, oh my gosh, I just feel that now is the right time to work with her or him. I'm going to get in contact. So it creates this magnetism of people around you, widening your connection, widening your community, because you're owning your self-worth and you're owning your power. And people can feel that. And they're like, well, she's doing that. I'd like to know how to do that. So I'm going to connect with her. I'm going to be in her energy, in her community, whatever, groups, <clears throat> friendship circles, just so I can absorb and learn and watch what this amazing person is doing. That's the effect. That's the impact, the positive impact you can create. So ancestral heritage. 
own your power, but also if you're finding it's a little bit challenging, do some ancestral healing. If there's any, I've got some ancestral stuff, um, Akashic transmissions, meditations. So if there's something that I think is appropriate, I will place it at the end of the video for you to dive into. So <clears throat> let me know how that card resonates. And also if you want to join me on that masterclass, the business Akashic masterclass, that's gonna help you unlock your success using the Akashic records, the power and understanding the power that the Akashic Records can bring for your business, filling in those gaps, understanding how actually how easy it can be used for your business. I'm going to share more on that masterclass, 7 to 8 p.m. UK time. If you want to join, it's free. The link will be in the comments below. If you pick card three as your main focus, fabulous. Love it. Love, love, love this card. <clears throat> Go listen to cards one and two because it, it's leading into this one. I don't know if anybody spotted the uh, the consistent shape yet. You may not do. I might have to hold up all three cards or all actually all four cards. Vision and ambition. So this is where we take action. This is where we get specific. This is where we were like, oh my God, I now know what I'm doing. I've got clarity. I've formulated a plan or I'm, I'm, in, I'm in a position to formulate a plan I can now start taking action. I've got it in my hands. I know what my vision and ambition is. And this is perfect because we're heading into 2024. So <clears throat> you've got to own your power. You've got to really know your deservability of self-worth, own your authority, own your power. I'm really here for it. I'm magnetizing my community to me or connections or people that will support me in sharing that power and being able to own your power in a bigger way, I'm going to be able to share that with my community or get support in being able to do that. So I'm magnetizing people to me. But then here we're taking action. <clears throat> so this for me is like a sense of being. It's how you feel. It's what you believe in. It's how you're kind of like presenting yourself. Then we've got the people coming towards us, community, connection. And then it's like, OK, I'm ready to take action. I've got the vision. I've got the ambition. I know how to, to move forward with something that is required maybe for me to step into um, a higher sense of self-confidence or self-belief around this. And I feel I'm really feeling it now. And it's now actually formulating in me being able to take action. And that could be, you know, changing some things in your life, changing things in your relationship. It could be introducing new things in work going for a promotion, changing things in your in your business, going into business, whatever it might be. It's this kind of like, it's harnessing this power and this feeling of deservability, self-worth, confidence. I'm going to go and do this. It's my vision. It's my ambition. I can really connect in with it. That is what is coming through with this card. So if you pick this as your main focus, you're going to have more clarity, vision, and ambition that's coming through, more motivation, drive, maybe inspired downloads, maybe uh, wanting to sit down and really understand what your vision and ambition is if for 2024 and you're feeling motivated to go and actually do that. Because when we have a plan, a strategy to actually work towards, then we've got something that will keep the progress going. It allows us to take small steps forward. When we don't have a plan or something, a pathway to follow, then we can flounder about a little bit and we're not quite sure then we don't get started and we get self-sabotaged and then we feel really bad. <clears throat> so having this plan, having this vision that's inspired by you and your heart and what it is that you want to experience, you've got to be the key. You've got to be the, you know, the key within this because you've got to keep coming back to this vision and to, you know, fulfill the ambition. You've got to keep coming back to your why in order to kind of stay on track or keep moving forward because we're not going to be motivated all of the time motivation is an emotion and it lasts about a couple of weeks then it disappears out the window and <clears throat> two weeks isn't strong enough or isn't long enough for us to create a new habit that needs that needs far more time for it to become a more unconscious habit you know like part of our lifestyle a way of being it takes longer than two weeks. So we have to keep tapping into our why. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? What, you know, what's the urge? What's the thing that's drag, you know, taking me, not dragging, <laughs> that's pulling me forward, that's inspiring me. 
<laughs> For some people, it might be dragging. I don't know. <clears throat> so your vision and ambition is important. If you want to make big changes, small changes, any kind of change, you need to have vision and ambition. You need to have your why to understand what it is and why you're doing it to keep you motivated or determined to deliver, achieve, experience, whatever that vision and ambition is. But you've got it in your hands. <clears throat> you've got it in your hands. So let me know how that card resonates. Again, I don't know if you've uh, discovered what the, uh, or guessed what the symbol is yet. I will show all four cards so you can kind of get an idea of what is running through all of these. Karmic challenges is your bonus card. Hopefully you've listened to all three cards before you get to this one because they all layer. And the karmic challenge is simple here. It's having trust and faith. So karmically, you may have had experiences where you had trust in somebody else and you were let down. <clears throat> and so there's a fear about having trust and faith again, because am I going to get disappointed? Am I going to get my fingers burnt? So I'm not going to have trust in faith. She's moving forward into this new portal, this new, this new chapter, which requires trust and faith. It requires a leap of faith of jumping off this cliff and being sucked into the portal. So karmically, you may have made a big leap, taken a big risk which may have involved somebody else, it may have involved you <clears throat> and only you. And the responsibility then lies with you. And it's kind of like, well, I can't trust myself. So how can I have trust and faith? And so if we don't have this trust and faith ever from whatever experience we've had, we repeat karmically the same patterns, the same choices, because we're not willing to try it again and have trust and faith that this time will be the time that it will be different. And it will always be different because we're not the same person that we were, even if it's in this lifetime, even if it was last week, you're not the same person that you were last week that you are today because you've had seven days of experiences, wisdom, mastery, <clears throat> things going on for you, soul growth, expansion, lessons, all of that has happened in those seven days. So you're not the same person you were a week ago. So it doesn't mean that it's going to be the same result. And that's where we have to have trust and faith that we use the wisdom from that time where we perceived it didn't work out. We take the learnings and we make tweaks, we make changes. And it's not going to turn out the same way because you're not doing the same thing. But we've also got to have that trust and faith. So karmically, trust and faith might be the thing that you're holding back on. And so this card is saying, let that go. Let go of the karmic challenge, the karmic pattern you have. And whatever you're choosing to do this week, have trust and faith because that's how you break the pattern. That's how you create, or oh, sorry, break the karmic challenge that you find yourself in. So I hope that makes sense. It's a beautiful card for me. It's again, it's new portals, it's new energy. Yeah, as I say, we've got the full moon. So it's that kind of releasing. <clears throat> it's moving into something new. So the, the actual symbol, and you may be able to start to see it as I put the cards up, is the circle. So you've got the circle around the lady's head, the aura. You've got the circle of the community inside and outside. You've got the crystal ball with the vision and you've got the portal here. All of them are symbols of circles, never ending, continuation. We are continually evolving, um, moving through, I was going to say through time, but we're not moving through time. We're moving through space. We're moving through the universes. We're moving through energy. We're moving through quantum fields. We're constantly moving. That's the thing. And, we, and change is always constant. That's the one thing that will never stop is change. Expansion and change never stops. We never stop expanding and changing. But do we want to do the same route of the circle or do we want to spiral upwards? 
we want to spiral upwards because there's growth and evolution in that. If we are doing the continual karmic cycle, and some of those karmic cycles would be positive, and it's like, yeah, I'd like a bit more of this, please. That's fine. But if we're finding ourselves in a karmic cycle or loop that is challenging and we just keep doing the same thing and getting the same result, then that's where we've got to break that circle and step out of it. And it comes back to deservability and self-worth. Do you feel worthy of having that? You know the answer. You know it's yes. So let me know how those cards resonate. I would love to hear. And just to remind you that that unlocking the power of the Akashic Records for your business, that masterclass is on the 5th of December, 7 to 8 p.m. I'm going to be sharing with you um, three main areas that I'm going to show you how the power of the Akashic Records supports your business, but we're also going to really look at some of the gaps within your business and how the Akashic Records can fill those. So we're going to be covering lots of different things in that masterclass. So it's free. If you want to get in there, if you're thinking of uh, you know opening up your own business um, or kind of still running, having your own job, but, but kind of like wanting to do more Akashic Records stuff, then this would be a perfect masterclass to step into. If you've already got a business and you want to expand or just understand how the Akashic Records could help you, then this masterclass is for you. So love and blessings. Have a fabulous week. And I will speak to you really soon. Bye.